Jane Bankey next to you. Tell her how much you love her. Compliment her. You can ask me any question you want. How come you're so amazing? <laughs> no comment. Ah! <laughs> no, seriously, no comment. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> and the merit certificate for serving goes to Dane Bankey. How do you feel? I worked really hard for it, so I deserve it. And the merit certificate for serving goes to Dane Bankey. Your voice of the generation. I know. This makes me emotional, and I'm expressing it. I have no difficulty being sensible and petty at the same time. And it does not diminish my powers. It expands them. Why are you crying for? Why am I crying? Yeah, why are you crying? Oh. <laughs> why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Miss, why are you crying for? I've been here since 7.50, I'm now late for first period. Park just enough, so I can't fit in the three spots. I'm sick of the double parking. 
unacceptable. Somebody they should really have some patrol yeah. out here. Cut scene. Thank you. 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 Thank
Okay, yeah, why? Because she's very outdoorsy and adventurous. I think she could easily build a raft mm. for us to escape. And then I just jump on and we'd save the safety. I am going to pick Foles because she's a feeder. <laughs> So she would make like Rocky Root and cake oh, and like. Oh, feeder. Well, yeah. I thought it was some millennial term. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Like she actually loves to cook. Oh, it's pretty easy for me. I'd pick Mrs. Russell. She's she's an adventurer. I feel like I have to choose Miss Clark. And Miss Clark, every lunch checks that I have lunch. And if I don't have lunch, she like gives me a bit of her lunch. Oh. And like, so I feel like in a deserted island, she'd really take on the role of making sure that I was okay. So it's the Nando's Peri Peri Extra Bloody Hot Sauce. Um, I know you're a fan of Nando's, is that correct? Big fan of Nando's, yeah. I have been in the past, but no one will go with me now because we overdid it when we were younger. Oh, so if anyone wants to go to Nando's with me. Mrs. Cotton. I like Nando's. Oh, you're Nando's. thinking of... Um, a Porto. I don't like a Porto. Where's your chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I just ate the sauce. <laughs> My question was, could you please do a rendition of the Welsh National Anthem? <laughs> In Ladfern, hard I, and I... Can you do a rendition of your favourite chapel song? This is amazing, Grey. Glad God with Clamad. Glad, Clamad. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I sing for <coughs> all that you've done for me. The spice is getting to me. Um, on the topic of Lara, which subject do you think she'll grow up to be more interested in? English or history? She's not showing any interest in history. I don't think she'll she does. doesn't know what history <laughs> This is dynamite, gong chu, jung, mega bomb, spicy sauce. I want to win, win. Miss Savile is competitive. Oh, that one's got a bit of kick to it, isn't it? <laughs> <coughs> that's nice. Are you sure that's spicy? Mm. Is year 12 your favourite class that your teacher is um, in? Year 12 my, modern history. It's my, it's my favourite year 12 class. Oh, joint with my extension class. No, no, no. See, I... <laughs> I specifically say, on purpose, because it's true, that every class is my favourite class. Well, you mean that, you know, teachers don't have favourite classes. Oh, look, you'd be up in my favourite too. That, the three to four was a big... <laughs> That was like year 10 to year 11. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah. Before we go on, can I clarify this tie that I'm wearing today? I didn't choose this tie. I feel like it feels like a year 12 boys formal tie. But my daughter chose it because of the pattern. In some countries, Carolina Reaper is actually illegal. Mm. Carolina Reaper is known as the hottest pepper in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Good, but I'm waiting for it to hit. How are you feeling? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> I feel fine. Are you serious? Yeah. Completely. I need to blow my nose again. It's quite cool. That was lovely. No reaction. I mean, it's got a bit of spice to it, clearly. <coughs> <laughs> just like this. I get to experience great things like this. I okay. think, oh sorry. No, I'm going to waffle on, but yeah, you go. Go. go waffle. <laughs> like I've already said, everyone is unique, everyone is special. It's getting worse. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if our daughter can grow up and be like any of you girls, we'd be stoked. We so. would be stoked. Where are you feeling at the most, sir? <laughs> can we get a zoom in on Miss Crying? <laughs> I can feel my heart rate's gone up. Oh. Well, congratulations, you completed the Hot Wheels I'm challenge. ready for level six. Oh, oh. is there anything final you'd like to say to the camera? You should all try this. Take a look at these diamonds, long as a life is quick and conscious step. We bathe through thick and thin, she already thinks I'm halfway there. <laughs> no, go! <laughs> I hit my tooth, Yanni. Don't move! Get in the park! I thought I lost a tooth! Yes! I didn't have my actual tooth! I thought I lost a tooth! Don't move! 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 Don't
Jesus, we're doing carpool karaoke. Hey. Who should we pick up? Oh my gosh, Miss Hall. Yes, 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 yes. yes. What about Miss Hudson? Oh, no, no way. She won't do it. Two, two. Can you deal the fam singer? <laughs> <laughs> Can you suggest a place for us to look next? Let's go! 
Let's look in the kitchen. So today we are doing the 24 hour overnight challenge at Dame Bank. It's currently 6.05 p.m. and the librarians are walking around checking. <gasps> Our plan now is to do some work actually because H is in like 20 days and I haven't started doing anything. So see you in a few hours and also probably take a nap because I'm really tired. So bye for now. Hey guys, so it's been five hours and you guys haven't updated us. Updated you actually. It's 11 42 pm. She hasn't done any work here behind me taking a nap really nice so we're gonna do something about it you both wake up huh? so I, I don't know why she wake me up if she's hungry like just go eat something by yourself like i guess we'll go find some food last little nutella jar from izzy's group zara kelly what is this what is this looks like it's been sitting here for six days <laughs> let's look in the fridge Absolutely nothing. What is this abysmal? Oh, what is this? Nothing, give me some tea. Mate, Daddy's not gonna feed us. Daddy's not gonna. Sorry. <laughs> do this right now like i'm actually i'm so scared like i'm so scared i actually think dame bank's haunted like look <gasps> so we just woke up and we are walking around at 5 30 a.m before the sun rises oh no let's do this first no, well, no do that first because because um, you know how i got into the acting course <sighs> I'm just gonna bend it a little bit. Okay. okay. Uh oh. 
Hi Lisa, thank you so much for <laughs> um, choosing me to be one of the applicants for the scholarship. I'm here with Mrs. Hoare, who is my PDHP teacher. I think it's probably one of my favourite subjects because for the past two years, I've been doing really well. I've been coming top five. Um, and this year I'm doing a little bit worse because like trials and stuff, but like last year was better. I think I was coming like tied first, but I think that's because I like, I'm, my attention's really good in class. Right. <laughs> yeah, very enthusiastic. Yeah. Would be a good word. Yeah. Um, and we, ha I think Miss Hall thinks, you know, I'm pretty special and, you know, we can't do faces. Oh, I guess so. We're really hoping for a band six. Band sixes would be good. Yeah. You know, this year, I actually, with Miss Hall, um, I actually suffered an injury and we were I didn't actually. Do it. No, 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 no. We were actually on a PDHP excursion and, um, sorry. I broke some of my fingers and that just really upset me because... Shada, you cannot tell people you were equal first. I can't let you submit this. Why are you crying? There were no fingers broken. Wait, I don't just... know anything about it. Just let me say it. Hold on. <clears throat> um, earlier... Please, okay, 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 okay. Please, you have to be serious. Mm. Because they, there's other people that have like, okay. that have real things and I don't really have much. I need okay. this, okay? Um, earlier this year, I actually suffered an injury with, um, in Mrs. Hall's class when we were on an excursion. Mrs. Hall like took us out to the local gym and we were doing like some exercises, some circuit training, things like that. And broke some of my fingers. And I couldn't write my PDH responses anymore. And so Mrs. Hall, lovely teacher that she is, she actually would write, like I would say what I wanted to write and she would write the responses for me. <laughs> I can't say this. <laughs> I can't let you put this in. We're almost there. <clears throat> and I'll do this part. Okay, this one's okay, better. okay. I think one of Got the, it. Okay. I think one of the best parts about PDHP is that because Mrs. Hall is such an amazing teacher, we actually made a system. What would happen is I would send through at least three responses at six. <laughs> so I would send through at least three responses at 6.45 a.m. and they would be marked and ready by 8 a.m. for me. After afternoon sessions as well. You can't make faces. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, smile, smile, make okay. sure you smile. Because we're saying thank you. Charlotte is really good at creating, uh, especially stories and things like that. Very good at it. Jokes, songs. Mm -hmm. Charlotte likes to perhaps introduce some of that into my classes. And do you think that benefits the class? Not always. So thank you so much again, Lisa, for considering me to be an applicant for the scholarship. Thank you. Okay. You can't seriously submit that. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! Hi Lisa, thank you so much for considering me for the scholarship for next year. Um, I'm here with Mrs. Rendina, Hi. who is the assistant year coordinator of my year group. Um, so pretty much today I'm just going to talk to her about um, what I've been doing with science this year. Um, so this year I've been STEM captain. Um, okay, can we cut it? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the STEM captain. Yeah, well, I'm just like gonna say it, like. Just okay. It's so okay. this year I've actually been the STEM captain for 2023. Um, do you want to talk about some of the things that I've done? Uh, yeah. So we've had an amazing science week this year, mm -hmm. and yeah. um, and Charlotte was involved in organising that. Um. Yeah, and so uh, <laughs> I feel like this is a prank. Is this a prank? No, this is a prank. Prank. I, I no it's fine. It's just they need because they like they need heaps of stuff, and they're like, we'd like you to go into. So is this school. serious? Yes. Okay, like I science. In, I can embellish stuff if you want me to. <laughs> just say okay. Like, How many are applying? I think it's like a lot. Two thousand. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> say she's dumb captain. <laughs> so um, I think the highlight of science for me was definitely my year nine class with Miss Rendina. Oh, now. that's so sweet. Um, Charlotte was always really engaged and really loved science. Um, one of my star pupils. Um, I don't know, I think you were very good at collaborating with people and, and having a little bit of leadership when we did prep work. Yeah. And you always did really well in the exams as well. Yeah. Um, bit of an all-rounder. You're yeah. lucky that way because not all kids have that yeah. ability. 
Um, I yeah. think it was especially tough. Like, I definitely learned a lot about challenges and persistence. And I remember in year nine, um, remember that injury? I had actually got an injury. Um, we were making, we were doing an experiment, and I accidentally touched the flame of the Bunsen burner. And Miss Rendina was so like accommodating and just got me ice, and it was amazing. Yeah, and is, <laughs> did you heal up okay after that? <laughs> Okay. Right. Right. Where'd you get inspired from that from? Look, I... What about your shoes? You don't, you never seem to change up your shoes. Oh, these were stylish just, just a few days ago back in the 90s. Like, <laughs> I'm not really understanding why Michael's making any comments about Jessica's appearance. Michael hasn't changed his since the 80s. Coffee. I need my coffee. I think your trials are going... Going... I can't believe my history extension class rocks up every Friday afternoon and does nothing. I find all these sources for them. They do nothing. At least, you, you know, you get me a coffee. Thank you. Oh, I feel great. These year 12 girls, I've asked them to submit so many essays. How many monetary poli policy essays have I gotten? Two. Two. Whole class of 13 girls have gotten two. Never once in my 40 odd years teaching have I ever been so concerned about girls failing the geography HSC. I'm just, they don't know enough about the wetlands. They're not just putting enough effort in. You know, I think they need at least 10 hours a day studying at least. Oh, back in my day, people had respect for their colleagues. None of this young disillusionment. What, what that stinks. <laughs> Said here. Can I you don't even know. read that? No, that's exactly like her history extension. And then she's read gone, it. Charlie Dickens. Charlie Dickens historian. So I've sent an essay for homework, and this is what I received.
My year 12s are heading straight for a mystery mark. So, Mr. Williams, I just thought it was worth mentioning that the highest mark in the entire modern history course is actually 30%. Yeah, well, you know, it's their choice if they come to class or not. No, I don't that's really not know. I can't class them to come. They're in here well, they're almost in the duty to make sure that all of your 12 passes. Staff room! I suggest a talking stick. Uh, Napoleon? <laughs> that way we can share all of our ideas and work cohesively as a team. Who wants to go first? Gareth? I can't force my year 12 to do anything they don't want to do. Okay, okay. We'll work on it, team. We'll work on it. Um, I, I have a solution. Good on it. I recommend that we pretend to be year 12 and we sit the exam for them. I come up with really good ideas. My wife is actually the exam invigilator, so I don't think that's going to fly. It's a department diss track! It looks like you lost your yeah. Mathematics with the help of the formula provider Multiply, small talk, to get attention undivided Just wait and look at my timetable and see a double lesson Double lesson, lesson. earn me time, I can make wise subject of the question HSIE, how serious is education if we spend our time listening to struggle exaggeration? Yeah. Questions about the content, I got my call. I just pass the time by staring at the posters on the wall. My English responses consist of absent minded guesses. Didn't know teachers had uniforms, like saw those floral dresses. Watching movies in class is the only thing a kid enjoys. I'm here by giving up, how's that for a stylistic choice? We are not asking for change or a favor Just simply accounting for all our behavior You better be careful, start watching your back No one's safe, it's the department district Sciences, they make me go berserk If we don't have energy, we don't have the ability to do work I wanna use the iWatch station when I see there's more to learn Do you have your license to handle this Mathematics! Performing arts captures hearts Theory stops and passion starts On the stage, modern age Now acting is all the rage Sorry I made a mistake Let me do another take It's been pretty blend since the Lex Man announced his temporary break Languages aren't getting any problems did you expand your dialect to insult me in 60 different ways? Prove you can do something Duolingo hasn't done You have until the count of three Bitchy me, son! We are not asking for change or a favor Just simply accounting for all our behavior You better be careful, start watching your back No one's safe! It's the department district! Task department, I better start by giving an apology Only good things the smell of cooking Wafting round from food technology The prac is actually hard Can't fool us with some facade Nothing ever tested my patience More than when they forced us to do on guard on oh God, religion's next, no time to stop The only one I'd want to, but the only one that I can't drop Chapel, aka, try to stay awake Got me reading Exodus to plan my big escape PDH, the balls in your court, try your very best To put an outfit together without a puffer vest If they say get on the minibus, watch out cause it's a trap Push me to my limits till I snap, take a lap We are not asking for change or a favour Just simply accounting for all our behaviour You better be careful, start watching your back No one's safe, it's the department district Special mention to the library department We thought you want us to keep quiet I want to be a fashion designer and a pet store and a swimming teacher and a police. Okay. When I grow up, I'm going to be a grey nomad and travel all around Australia. I want to be a dentist, a police and a... 
a vet. A teacher and a doctor. What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. Yes, Beth, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a florist. A scientist. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a scientist. I want to be a ballet teacher. A doctor. A professional volleyball player. I want to be an author. A screamer. When I grow up, I want to be a zookeeper. Ballerina. A physiotherapist. Are you going to ask me anything? I'll just say it. What do you want to be when you grow up, Mrs. Williams? A professional gymnast. A princess. A baker. I want to be a YouTuber. When I grow up, I want to be just like Mrs. Horn. A rugby player. I, I want to be a vet and a police. A vet. A professional dog walker. A musician. Hotel manager. A landscape architect. An economist. I'm going to be the next Prime Minister of Australia. English teacher and author. An actress. Married to Theo James. A psychologist. An economist. Yeah. What's your do you go in your class? Okay. Or do you not have a classroom? Yeah, we, we have like lots of classrooms. And oh, we have I do just a yeah. billion. We have yeah, we have a billion classrooms. We have different teachers. For like real each. billion. <laughs> <laughs> how old do you think Bridget is? Yeah, how old do you think Bridget? Wait, yeah. I think she's 100. I'm 100. <laughs> I'm fossilized to this point. <laughs> We're not that old. Um, I know. You're 20, 29. 29. 29. 29. Do you think my married and I, got kids as I, well? I think you're 20. <laughs> you're 18. I'm an adult. I get to vote. Uh, What's a YouTuber? <laughs> so, you, so you should videos on YouTube. Oh, oh, a YouTuber! Right. <laughs> at, at the end of this term, you're gonna be great. Graduated? Graduated for school. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do now. I've always been a stereotypical Dame Bank kid. I don't think I'm fit for anything else. I don't think that that's true. Think of all the things that you've done while you've been here, all the things that you've learned, the friendships that you've had, the teams that you've led. You can take that into the world. That is true. Now you understand that your actual time at school has to end. You've learned all you've needed to learn. But your time at Dane Bank, your heart of Dane Bank, will live forever. Your impact will be lasting. I know. Now leaving can be pretty hard. And you know, Sometimes when people are really scared of leaving, they do silly things like make up crazy muck up videos or get dressed in costumes all day or think that it's a good idea to play pranks on their teachers. I understand that. And then you graduate. I want to be a part of the people that make meaning and create something and start living out of Dane Bank. Do I have your permission? I want to be a part of the people that make meaning. Does that make sense? Do I have your permission to start living outside of Dane Bank? You don't need my permission. We're happy. We're going to stand still. We're going to be behind you. We're going to push you out of those green gates. So growing up isn't something I need to ask for or just want. It's what I discover. Absolutely, we want you to discover the world, but I can't let you leap out of our little nest without making you think of all the things you've learned and remember what you've had. So close your eyes. Hold my hands.
for supporting me along this journey. Oh, you are so welcome. We're so proud of you, Tiana. You're going to do so Thank well. You. You'll go on. You'll be amazing. I have total faith in you. Thank you. It means a lot. You're welcome. Please come back and tell us because things will be wonderful for you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink belt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Daddy, Stacy, Nikki.